Hello everyone. I am sitting here working on a journal for a friend and I just kind of stopped and thought I would turn the camera on and I thought I would just talk to you guys while I was working on this and kind of tell you what's been going on. Um, I don't really know how this video is going to go so just kind of bear with me but I thought maybe now would be a good time since I'm just kind of sitting here in the middle of this and I could just talk to you guys while I'm crafting and it might be better for me um, to try to just talk to you guys this way um, I know that I've been missing for a while on YouTube right when I just decided to come back and really start doing videos again um, but back in the end of September, my mom got sick, and we weren't really sure what was going on, and I started taking her to the doctor, and we were in, she was in the hospital in the ICU for a couple weeks, and um, she was just in and out of the hospitals. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to, you know, sit here and go through a lot of detail, but I just can't. But, um, she ended up, you know, just really sick, and I brought her home after, a, you know, being in and out of hospitals and, um, rehabilitation at nursing homes and such, and finally, she ended up sick again, and I took her back to Virginia to a hospital again, and she was there for about a week, and, um, her heart was just, um, failing. And so they sent her home on hospice, and that was in December. And she died um, a week later, which was December 19th. And so I've been having a very hard time trying to just get by. Because my mom, as you guys know, was everything to me. So... Um, we had a lot of plans for my channel this year and just my business in general. Um, and this kind of, just kind of stopped me dead, really. It was totally unexpected, of course, and it's kind of got me, like, where do I go now type thing. But I know that my mom, I know my mom, and I know what she would want me to do. <clears throat> so, I'm going to continue on with what me and mom had planned, which was to start my digitals. And I've already been working on, um, I've got my new computer, and um, which is an amazing computer, an amazing laptop. Um, I've got a lot of things, you know, set up and was ready to start doing all this when, it, you know, everything kind of happened and so for, you know, three months or two and a half months or whatever it was, I took care of mom, you know, all that stuff got put on hold, um, which, you know, my mom always came first. But, um, and now I'm, I've just needed time to try to figure out what to do. Um, every day, pretty much. You know, she was my best friend. And, um, just trying to get up and function every day has been hard. But, um, you know, I'm going to, I am going to go, I'm getting a new shop or, um, I'm either going to find something else, um, Etsy, of course, if anybody's been to my shop, it is, you know, on vacation, which I need to just close, um, or I'm not going to Shopify 
there's a reason for that. Uh, Wix, I just have not been able to figure out whatsoever. I don't know what the problem with that is. And either my son's just going to build me a website or I'm going to build my own website. I don't know which. Um, but that's my next step. And um, I've just kind of piddled in the craft room. Um, I make my own journals. I make journals very slowly and I put them to the side. Um, I haven't really been making much um, recently, but I'm working on this one for a friend and I've made myself one and that's pretty much it. But I just kind of piddle around in here just to keep my mind busy. Um, Cause I just don't know what else to do besides that. But I know what my mom would want me to do. So that's kind of why I have been MIA. <laughs> and um, I plan on a lot of things changing. Um, that's at least my plans, but I've been planning on that for a while, and it seems like there's always something that gets in my way. There's always something that seems to pop up and uh, spoil my plans um, in some way or another, you know, in the past. And that's why mom was like, you know, this year we're really going to, um, you know, we're going to make this happen. Um... So, I feel like I should, instead of just giving up and saying forget everything, and which is what I thought about doing, I think I should just do it more so because, just for my mom. Because my mom believed in me more than anybody did. And she was my biggest supporter. And she, she believed in me, and... Um, she pushed me when I wanted to give up many a times. Um, she loved my work and, um, of course she thought it was better than everybody's. You know how mom is. But, you know, she had faith in me when I didn't. So, um, I just, when I feel like I don't think my work's good or I want to quit, I can remember what my mom would say to me. And I'm fortunate that I do have that. Um, and that I did have a great mom. And that I can remember those things. You know. So these are, these butterflies here are freebies from Yvonne's coffee shop. And she's got like these right here. So if you're interested, um, go to Yvonne's um um, da, 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 da channel, and she's got her coffee shop linked, and you can get these and these hearts, which are amazing. I usually don't even use hearts, and I'm like addicted to these things now. They are gorgeous. That's what I was cutting out to begin with, and I've used them in this journal right here. This is a flip-flop journal, and there is the butterfly, and I just put it down in the middle and look, it's flying off the page. Is that not adorable? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that little butterfly. And then I did, let's see, I don't want to show too much of this. It's going to a friend and I know she'll watch this. I did this butterfly here where it's like half on the page. So, but I used a couple butterflies um, throughout this journal and I did with the hearts. Where's the hearts? Let's see. Sylvia, don't look. Don't be peeking. <laughs> so, so I used the hearts off the page too like that. Just to let them pop off. I really like that. Let's see. Where's that? Um, the, these kits. Let me tell you whose kits these are. Let's see. Um, well, I might as well just do a flip through since I'm on here. 
um, I did it here. I'm trying to think. What was I thinking? What was I going to say? There's another place I did the heart. Where else did I do? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. The other way I used the heart. Let's be back here. This flip-flop journal is um, right here. So I just used it just like I did the butterfly. And I left the two ends up like that. So it's kind of like three-dimensional. I like that. Um, the flip-flop journals are from Leslie at, um, what is it, 504 Willow House? No, 507. 507 Willow House Journals. That's what it is. Um, and this journal's not even done, so I still don't have, like, all the lace at the bottom. Um, I don't have all that. Now, this one here is mine right here. And... I don't have lace on mine at the bottom, not on this one, but I'm putting some lace at the bottom. So she'll have a couple more pieces of lace, but it's got like the fabric ruffles and hers will be tied with a piece of the, um, the seam binding. This is crinkled seam binding, um, but I wanted to make her one similar to mine and I'm obsessed, um, with the, um, the flip-flop journals. And that mine's my faith journal. I don't know what she'll use this one for, but of course she won't even touch it forever. Um, let me back up a little bit. Let me see if I can do the zoomy thing. It's hard to tell what you're seeing. I don't want you to see my messy, messy desk, desk area. Okay, so let me just show you this. So there's quite a few kits used here um, <laughs> or papers. And I usually don't mix artists, but I've been doing that lately. And because I've always watched Yvonne do it, and she can make everything match. I don't care what you give her, she can make anything match. I've never been able to do that, but I started doing that in the last two journals, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, that butterfly matches, so I'm gonna use that. So, the background paper here is Amity Blooms. Um, don't know which one because I have so many of hers, I couldn't tell you, but most of this kit is, um, Shabby Cottage Boutique, I think, Shabby Cottage, oh gosh, now, yeah, now I would totally forget, do I have, Shabby Cottage Studios, that's what it is, Shabby Cottage Studios, um, I have, I'm getting two, two shops mixed up, so it's Shabby Cottage Studios, and she, this is one of her, no, I have both of them, so I have both of her tall, skinny, journal collections together she's got two of them and i went ahead i had both of them and i just mixed them in because i didn't have enough and so i, I printed a bunch of stuff now this top paper and this right here was a freebie this is two pieces um layered and this was a freebie from um pink monarch pink monarch all you guys know pink monarch whatever prints <laughs> of course, I'm getting bad in my brain. Um, anyway, that was from her, and um, I've had that forever, but I absolutely love that. And then this bottom part is Amy Bloom. Um, these are freebies again. Oh gosh, are these? Are these Yvonne's? Wait a minute. I don't know if those are Yvonne's or if those are, um, I think those are Yvonne's from her um, Bloss um, Blossom. Rose, um, uh, Blossom Rose kit, I think. If they're not, they're one of her freebies. No, I think they're from her Blossom Rose kit um, on her uh, website. It's, um, why am I getting brain fog when I'm trying to, well, because it's midnight, that's why. She has, I think it's Blossom Rose, um, which I used a bunch of that in here. And that is on her, here's some of her tags. That is on her website, which is My Crafty Little Corner. Um, that kit is amazing. And then this is some of her paper, too, that I've used in here. This is another entire kit. Um, this one is one of her collage backgrounds. Um, I have every, I think every kit of Yvonne's except for two. And it's two of her old ones that I don't have. Um, so I don't know which one this one is. And I used to know the names of all of them. But well, I've got so many kits now. I can't even remember the ones I buy. 
So, but yeah, this, this is really pretty. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's just a real pale green with lots of shades of like pinkish peaches. And different butterflies and roses there. You can see that. It's really pretty. Anyway, it all kind of blended together somehow. I don't know how, but it did. And she's really pretty. I ended up not using these tags because I used some other ones. And then she had, oh, sorry. She had this one, which was a freebie. And I didn't end up using it, but it's, I've still wanted to. But this is a large pocket, which are some of my favorite pockets of hers. And then these tags, there was three tags. And I had another tag somewhere. And I used it. It's in here somewhere. And I really wanted to use this tag, but I could not find a place where it actually matched. So I put that over here. And now this pocket, this and large tag is from the Tall Skinny collection. And I'm not sure which one. I'd have to open up the, my computer. These are also, but they're so dark. They did not match. And this one is right here. Isn't she pretty? This is from the Shabby Cottage. I just turn it. I've done forgot again. Oh, my studio. Shabby Cottage. I'm going to have to put my names of these things up here because I can't remember anymore. Shabby Cottage Studio. She was just so pretty sitting under the vanity. I love that one. So I thought about putting something right here and I've lost it. All right. Was it her? It was not her. Oh, I've already used her. I bet. I bet I already used her somewhere else. Now I don't see her. Unless she's gone, I've used her somewhere else. And I have this swan I want to use somewhere, too. I don't know where I'm going to use that. And this girl, I want to use those, too. So I still have little pieces. And then here's another one from the collection. This large tag. Some of them are on cardstock. Some of them are on paper. So I could um, collage. This is cardstock. So you can write on that. I've still got to go back and put all my toppers on my tags. Now this one won't have one because it is right up at the top. But I do that so you have, um, so it evens out like the thickness. And you don't have like all your thickness at the bottom. And then it sticks out, you know, which way. So it evens it out. So I put some stuff at the top. And here's one of the tags. Uh, I don't know which one that one is, was either. And then these are background pages. Um, there's a ruffle and that tucks under there. This I just folded over. Now this here is from the Apple of His Eye shop. And I have a few of those. I'll show you those while we're sitting here. And these are her large, I don't know what she calls these, envelopes or what. But they're just, they just look like post, they say postcards. But they look, they're just large envelopes is what they are. That she's just decorated up. But they are the size, they're bigger, but they're the size of like a large skinny Long, tall, skinny journal type thing. And I used two of my favorite ones. That was really pretty. And I, well, actually, I might have used more than two. Uh, but I used them on the background pages of some of these. So, oh, I need to trim that paper right there. I see that. I'll have to do that in a minute. And then this is some vintage typewriter paper right there and I just took a piece of the ephemera from one of the kits and just folded it over and this is Yvonne's this is Blossom Rose I do believe and a vintage book page from is that McCall's or something like that there's some note paper and then this again is from one of the I am out of frame um, that from the kit I just made a paper like tab, ruffle tab, and then I put a piece of like uh, French right there, but it's actually digital, which I love using that because it looks real. Another tab, tag, and then a pocket, 
and this is from the same kits. Um, this background paper, I believe, no, this is Yvonne's. And this is too, but I can't remember which kit. Do not know. This Blossom Rose right there. This is Amity Bloom. No, no, no. This is um, English Garden. I have both one and two, and that's from Apple of the Apple of His Eye Shop, where I got these. This is one of those envelopes, as you can see, and so is this one. I love, love, love this one. This one is a little too much for me, and I was trying to figure out how to tone this one down. So it needs like a pocket or something here to tone this down. But I already had a pocket here, and I didn't want two pockets, so I don't know. I think somebody needs to put like a tag or something here. Maybe I could put that there, and then you could just write on that tag. Something needs put there, like a big piece of paper or something. Um, I could put something like this, and then she could just write on it. You know, something like that. And then over here is one of the large pockets. Now, I used... The tag that came with this pocket but it was black and white and i didn't like it so i covered it with this paper and just left the bottom of it showing there's that but i just don't care for this after i put it on there all this is too busy so this is one page i need to cover and then we go to the next signature and it looks like this which i love this and i left this window um, where you can see through it and see this pretty picture in the background and this is another page, and I just put this piece of ephemera from the kit on there to give it a little something. And this, of course, is more from the same kit. There is one of Yvonne's uh, tags. I just cut it down to make it shorter so it would fit down here. And then I added some of that um, my French writing on top to top it off and then one of her cards uh, I don't know that's one of her freebies or the the blossom rose it might be a freebie and then there is a pretty a picture from one of these kits there's a little ruffle some more of Yvonne's paper front and back the, these are digitals all of the um lined paper and all the ledgers except for the real ledger here is the printable is all from little bendy shop which is um johanna cloth that's where i get all of that and this this is the same thing and then there's some more that's a sticker um but that is no that is not i don't even know where i just i got that from i do not remember where i printed that from it's a doily. This is from the collection. It just folds out. That's vintage. There's a piece of uh, music ruffle that I put there. I love that piece, of course. Anything with a little tower. That's really pretty. I just cut it down so it would fit on there. And the other side now. There is the picture that I thought about putting up there. In the very front. So it's already been used. Let me put something there. And there is one of those stickers that I got from uh, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. I don't know if the name of the company now. Oh, goodness. One of those stickers. I did the unboxing a while back. I love those little stickers. I hadn't used them. So I wanted to use one on Sylvia's journal. And then this is the back. And then these this pocket here and I used a large tag from the collection and this girl which I love she's so pretty she's so serene and peaceful and then you flip flop to the very back and you have this pocket and I put this image here and this tag here this I do believe is Amity Bloom and then there's some French wrap around that spine of that one, of that signature. Then it folds this way, a little flip-flops. This is Amity, no, this isn't, I'm sorry. This, I'm used to saying everything's Amity Bloom. This is uh, the English Garden from the Apple of Eye. 
and this is from the collection. This is as well. And this is Yvonne's paper. I used a lot of Yvonne's stuff in this one. Um, this is from the collection. This is Yvonne's right here. And look how my set matched. It looks so pretty. So I got to use a lot of her stuff with this. Um, and this girl here. And this paper I had in my stash. So I don't know... Um, I, I don't, I'm not sure what that paper, I don't know who I printed that off of, so I'm not sure. You can't really see much of it anyway. Um, and the back's the same person, but I don't know who I printed it from. And then this girl here is um, Yvonne's freebie, I think. Yes. Um, might not be a freebie, though. I, th I guess it's from one of her kits. I don't remember. It might be a freebie. I'm not sure. Anyway, I put a blank tag in there so um, she could just do whatever she wanted with the tag. And then the, um, I'm out of frame again. The hearts there. And then some more ephemera here from the kit. And then this is from the kit here. And then these are paper pieces that, because all this was printed, a lot of it was printed in paper for collaging on the papers. Um, you know, I didn't want to use card stock on the pages. I wanted to leave it light. And so I left this so this can be used on the pages as well. And then a lot of these pieces we could put, um, like these are extra, like this right here. Um, it'll be put in a fold or an envelope. And then she can use this throughout the journal where she would like. And then this as well is part of the collection. And this little envelope. And this is more pieces here. I can't believe that out. There's the other side of the paper. I don't know. I love that. I don't know who that is. And then here's another large tag here. That blue is Amity Bloom. This is Yvonne. Look how pretty. And then we go to the last signature here. This is the collection. There's a butterfly. I had to do another one on another flower because I like that. And this ruffle. And this girl, isn't she gorgeous? Another plain. I think there's, that's the last tag. I did two plain tags. In this little pocket here. This is from Pink Monarch Prints. So about who she is, I think. And then this is from the collection. And I can't remember who that is now. It's one of these. <laughs> That's Yvonne's paper. And so is this inside, and then there's that heart with the pocket and tag from the collections. Look at that. Another one. Tag from, no, that tag is not from the collection. I don't know who that is. And that's from the collection. This is uh, from Apple of His Eye. That's a little bendy. That folds over because it was a full picture. This comes out like that. And... This was another page. I just added this blue right around and then added her on top of this page. Love, love this one. Added this piece of French right across to the front of her, which she is absolutely gorgeous. And just added this paper ruffle there with the um, lace underneath it and the button. And that's the journal so far. Just need to add some more lace at the bottom. I need to go back and add all the tag toppers and stuff and then maybe just a few little things and she'll be done. So and I hope you like her, Sylvia. Um, but yeah, so that's where I've been, guys. It's been really rough. So just bear with me, but um, I'm getting back slowly but surely. <laughs> so yeah, but I really appreciate you guys hanging in there, and I appreciate you guys um, watching my videos and commenting and stuff. I really do appreciate every one of you 
you guys have been so kind and you really lift my spirits and I really, really, um, I just, I love every one of you guys. Um, you know, when you comment, I know who you are. I know that you're regular commenters. Um, some of you even reach out to me and it really makes my day. Um, and I remember you guys. I, re I really do. I think about you guys all the time. So, um, I really miss doing videos. I miss working uh, in my craft room, even though I'm in here all the time. It's different when you're just piddling around and um, because you can't concentrate, you can't really focus on one thing. Um, then when you're in here working and you have a purpose and that's what I want to get back to. I want to have that purpose again and I want my focus again. So hopefully that's where I'll be back to. So but thank you guys for watching. I know this video was kind of everywhere, but um, I hope you like the little flip-flop journal. I am in love with these little things. They're so much fun. They're four signatures, but yet, and you got all kinds of room, but they're small. They're like compact. I'm loving them. I love mine, and I, I'd love to make me another one, but I've got so many journals right now going on that it's crazy. Maybe I'll show, do another video showing you my um, Amity Bloom journal that I made, um, which it's still a work in progress. I need to finish that one too. But yeah, so I've got little things going on for myself, but nothing major. But anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I will definitely be seeing you soon. Bye.